In the previous video clip, I examined the effect of changing the interest rate on the bond price. It's re relatively clear as that as the interest rate or the discount rate increases the bond price falls. So as we increase the discount rate, the bond price falls. Okay, so the relationship is negative, but it's also nonlinear. And that nonlinear tends to increase as we increase the time period. So if the maturity of the bond goes to three years, the relationship looks more linear. When we increase to 20 years or 30 years, the bond price uh, becomes more linear. So let's revert back to the three year period for the moment. And we could uh, again consider the effect of interest rates and also consider um, what is the value of the bond when the coupon rate and the interest rate is the same. Uh, so for instance, if we change the interest rate, the discount rate to 6%, which is equal to coupon rate, from economic theory, we know the bond price should be equal to its face value. So when the coupon rate and the uh, discount rate are equal to each other, the value of the bond should be equal to the value of the interest rate. We could verify that this uh, is consistent across a range of different time periods. So let's copy all and paste and remove uh, the graph and perhaps remove the data that we have here, the data table. And then uh, consider running the same type of exercise as before. Um, so let's set this cell uh, equal to the, the value of the bond here. And we verify that the value of the bond is generated by that function, the VBA function. And what we might consider again is different time periods. So we could consider what, uh, three years, five years, 10 years, okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and perhaps 30. 20, 25, 30 years. And then we can verify one year, 1%, 2%, so consider different interest rates and rerun the value of the table but for different time periods and different interest rates. Okay, so to generate the data table again, we can go back to our uh, data table. So data tab, what if analysis, data table. In the row, this is the row, we, we're considering different time periods. In the column, we're considering different interest rates. Okay, and let's hit return and the table fills in and let's just create a parallel. Just makes graphing that little bit easier. See why in a moment. And pull those across. Okay, equal to three and go across. 30 and 10, 0 equal to 0 0.1 and equal to, and we can pull this across and then take all and pull down. So we basically have the parallel table. Remove this cell here. And so the apex cell goes out and then we just go to home, sorry, insert and a graph, scatter graph, and we'll take this option here. And what we observe is that the value of the bond, the present value of the bond, B-O-N-D, PV of bond, is sensitive is negatively affected by increase in interest rates. So if this is the discount rate, we'll say R. 
let's increase the size of the graph, just redimension the graph. And you can see that the bond the graph, if you like, goes through intersects always at the six. And so what's happening really is that when the interest rate is six percent, uh, the value of the bond for a six percent coupon rate bond the value of the bond, regardless of maturity, whether it's 3 years, 5 years, 10 years, or 30 years, the value of the bond also must be equal to 1000. In other words, regardless, if we change this to 5 years, the value of the bond, so long as the coupon and the discount rate are the same, by changing the time period, 10 years, 20 years, and so on, no effect on the the value of the bond. So the bond is a par bond so long as those two are equal. If we change the interest rate to 5.6, of course changing the time period from one year to five years to ten years always has an effect here in the value of the bond when the interest rate or discount rate is made the same as the coupon rate, the value of the bond will always be 1000 or its face and that's regardless of the time period the bond that is most sensitive to changes in interest rates is the longer dated bond okay so the evidence we have here for longer dated instruments we seem to observe the biggest effect in terms of changing the interest rate is on the longer dated bonds also if the interest rates tend to be low any effect seems to be magnified as we increase interest rates here. When interest, interest rates are low, we seem to have more dramatic effects than when interest rates are higher. And we can look at that um, in greater detail later. Now, when the coupon rate and the interest rate are the same, we can refer to this as a power bond. Bond. And the value of a bond when R is equal to the coupon rate is unaffected by changing maturities, the maturity. Of the instrument. Okay, so that's the key finding here that as we alter the interest rate, when the bond, when the coupon rate is equal to the interest rate, the discount rate, the value of the bond will remain indifferent and also doesn't matter if we change the periodicity, no effect here on the value of the on the value of the bond. The bond will remain true to the face value so long as the coupon rate and the discount rate are the same. Okay, so what we can do is um, we can copy the spreadsheet again, copy and paste one more time and we can bring away the graph. In fact, we can delete that graph and again, everything is uh, sensitive. So the value values that we've generated here. Okay, so um, if we change this to one year and we rerun the data table, um, interest row is number of years and the column is the interest rate okay we it updates um, and we could build if you like perhaps a heat map so for instance we could look when are the biggest effects observed so if we observe here the 
let's take this cell and say what happens what is the change in the bond price relative to the old bond price divided by the old bond price for a 1% increase in interest rates notice that uh, the magnitude here so if we take these values and copy and just paste and then pull this down and then pull across um, and ignore the last line I presume so perhaps just delete delete this up delete shift cells up so falls out so for what we're observing here is as we increase the interest rate by one percent the value of the bond falls but falls by how much well in percentage terms it would be of the order of less than one percent but as the time period increases the magnitude of fall is very dramatic so we could think of um, any for one percent increase in interest rates for the longer maturities we could look at the range of values in excess of ten percent and they all seem to be consistent with increases in interest rates at the longer maturities and the dr most dramatic fall in the interest rate occurs when the bond price when the interest rate is when the maturity is highest and when the maturity is lowest the fall in the value of the bond for a one percent increase in interest rate tends to be much smaller so if we take these values again okay we can see for the longer maturities a 1% increase in interest rate produces more dramatic effects on the value of the bond. If we think of the magnitudes in excess of 5%, it typically would be these well. In fact, all of these values here. So we can say these values, including these, are all in excess of 5%. So let's fill those up. And we could think of a lighter shade here for these. So the biggest effect on interest rates is when the bond price is, when the maturity is highest, the biggest effect of a change in interest rates in the bond is when interest rates, when the bond price, when the maturity is highest. So notice here a negative, a fall of negative 17% for a 1% increase in interest rates. So if we increase the interest rate from 1% to 2%, the value of the bond falls in terms of the difference between the two values minus the original value, it falls by about 17%. But also notice as well, typically as the maturity increases, sorry, as the interest rate gradually increases, the effect of an increase in interest rates tends to get smaller, tends to get smaller, tends to get smaller, and so on. So we start here at negative 17 for the higher interest rates any increase additional increase in interest rates tends to produce a smaller effect on the value of the the bond okay so let's save that